Hey everyone, we're back with more Judgment. We're going to be exploring... Uh, oh, this is another Michiro quest. Here we go guys, our first crossover with the other games. Ono Michiro. Hmm? With my charming Hasaku face, steamy Ono Michi ramen hat, cute fish pouch, cool boots, vital for any fisherman, my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right, I'm the pride of Onomichi. Oh no! Michio! What the heck? Weird. Hello everyone, I am Onomichio's producer, Hironaka. How about it, sir? Would you like a destination tour with Onomichi's very own Onomichio? I take it he's some kind of local mascot? Exactly. Have you heard of him? He's from Onomichi, Hiroshima, a debonair fisherman with a great love of the sea. Alright, first I'm hearing of it. Uh, guess we still got our work cut out for us. Maybe he's not quite refined enough. If only we could do it like him. Sounds like the mascot business is pretty harsh. Hey there, mister. Nice to meet you. Hey, Michio-kun. That's not right. Remember, you're supposed to say, nice to meet you, when you greet someone. Whatever, dude. What kind of attitude is that? You're ruining our mascot! Uh, my apologies. You shouldn't have seen that. Right. I'll be on my way, then. Okay, so we got a side class with Ono Michio. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that there's no, like... Uh, overlap with the with the quest lines in this. It seems like um, everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be all, no. Uh, it seems like uh, this doesn't have any like overlap with the other Yakuza games. So we're not going to see any of the other characters. That's my feeling. Uh, and if that's the case, that's all right. The game's good enough to stand on its own legs. But I do like a good cameo here and there. You know. It's awesome when worlds collide. Oh. Yeah, doesn't understand. She's never had a world to collide before. Alright. Talk. Ah, talk. Come to cheer me up. What do you mean? You're as radiant as ever. Well, I haven't been working as much, so. <laughs> ah, work, right. Hey. So, any chance you want to make tonight more interesting with another bet? Huh? Does the loser still have to Listen. pay? Really? You're worried about losing before the wager's even made? <sighs> yes, but fine, let's do it. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's see here. How about we bet on whether the next customer is a guy or a girl? But that's completely up to luck. <laughs> exactly. That's what makes it so exciting. I'm gonna bet on the fair sex and say girl. Talk. Any objections? If it's your idea, I guess that leaves me with the guys. <laughs> And let the GAT contest begin. Luck be a lady tonight, huh? Talk. Hey, talk. Just so you know, Mari's been throwing them back. She's coming up for your wallet hard if you lose. Huh? Again? Really? Then luck be a dude tonight, please. Hmm. This is taking forever. I'm gonna head to the ladies' room for a minute. Can you just be- no. Uh, that does not seem to be an option. Ah. Wait a sec. Who says it has to come down to luck? Would it really be so wrong just to call someone over right now? I mean, she just saw it off. He had to be thinking the same thing. Well, gone well, then. Who should I call up? Uh, Genda Kai Kaido's just been shocked. Genda's an old man, is probably slash like Sukuma. I don't remember who Sukuma is. I want to call Sukuma. I bet Mario would never see him coming. Hmm? Hello? Oh, what can I do for you, Agamishi? Play a bug, Sukuma, but I need you to come to tender right away. Hmm? A bar, me. Please, I know it's tough, but if you can just do me a solid and do it quick. I don't really get it, but if it's that important to you, sure. <laughs> Sorry, and thanks. Seriously though, I need you to bust your ass. Alright, now I'll win for sure. Hmm? Doc, what were you up to just now? Nothing. Nothing, and I was so sure you'd take the opportunity to call up one of your boys. Oh come on, i never do something like that. Probably. Certainly not. Besides, it would have been pointless if you had. Why would that be? Anyone who you'd consider calling is probably off drinking at another bar by now. Hmm? What? 
I mean, if you were going to call someone, it'd be Kaido-san or Genda-sensei, am I right? Uh, Shit. Boys will be boys. Not that I'm worried. I had a contingency plan already. Huh? I couldn't beat you last time, and losing simply doesn't suit me, so don't tell me. <laughs> I may or may not have made a call to an acquaintance of my own. On top of that, I invited Kaido-kun and Genda-sensei to my other friend's bar. Really? That's... Wow. <laughs> Should I do my victory dance now? Or later? <laughs> Yagamishi. Better keep you waiting, Yagamishi. Jeez, took you long. Wait, who the heck are you? <laughs> I'm Sukumo, Yagamishi's friend. <laughs> That's not who I <laughs> Perfect timing, Sukumo. Make yourself at home. This kind, pretty lady is footing the bill on drinks for you and I tonight. Listen! Hey, you mind telling me what's going on here? Sure. I thought it was suspicious how you left your seat all of a sudden and blatantly gave me an opening. Factoring that in, I figured you'd made a deal with someone, uh, some of our mutual acquaintances, like Kaido and Gende sensei So, I had to dig into my deeper circles. You know, I've got connections all over town, don't you? <laughs> Not bad, Talk. Not bad at all. Hmm. On that note, where is that friend of mine? We can all drink together once she arrives. <laughs> Your treat. Ah, I wasn't supposed to go down like this. Uh, no, Cheshire, you can't choose boyfriend, unfortunately. I can't believe I actually pulled it off, but damn, Mari is no joke either. There we go, we got a new friend. Alright, let's go back to the office. Wait, this would be a bad time to call her. Better wait until I'm in the office. Oh. Am I at full health? Oh my god. I got 5,000 points. I think it's just so close to the end of the game, I am actually going to spend my uh, points on the 9,000 when I get them, instead of the uh, 12,000 one. Hi, mister. Are you Yagami? Yeah? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. Oh, and he said to open it right away. Probably a bomb. What? Wonderful, Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Oh, that's Koga. Well... Did you enjoy my present? With the cane, It was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the hell are you? No, oh, pardon my rudeness. This is my car. Koga? Oh, you don't know me? Hmm, I see, I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. I like how they were close. You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami-san. Yeah, I need this bicycle. Oh shit, he tossed a grenade. Get out of there. That's unfortunate. Oh, get, get. Oh shit, he's got a gun. Still got a gun. See you later.
Jesus, Kevin's got himself up and around. Damn, I gotta get out of SP for that. You're as strong as they said you'd be. It seems fortune is not on my side today. I surrender. You win. Huh? Already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. Yagami, yeah, you should have busted his classic. Can't these guys just leave me alone? Alright. Well, that happened. <laughs> Wait, there's something. Sugiura. Before I talk to him, there is. Uh, I got an artist that will show you fit. Sugiura, you're going to have to stay here while I do this. I can't do it. Never mind. What happened with Kaito san? Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah, things were tough. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some rest then. Heading out then? I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito-san. Now that I know you're safe too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. Probably bug the place so he'll know if uh, you do that. Good night. Anything happens in the office now? Check the outlets. I need 49 side cases. I need four more friends and then I can do this one. I need 50 and I did defeat all the Kane gang leaders. What? You know, before I do this though, I am going to save my game. Cheshire, what are your thoughts on actual cats, not just Cheshire cats? <sighs> Hello? yakubi -kun? It's Mafia. Did I wake you up? You need something? The moles claimed another victim. Another Kyure clan Yakuza. What? Head to the Matsugane family office if you can. All right, I'll be right over. So we have no more dates we can do. Uh, we're all done those side quests, and, and those ones tend to take a while. Um, can I call? I can't. Here you go. You can do the massage bit here first. All right, but I'm busy with another client right now. Plus, I'm all the way over in the hotel district. Feel free to call me again later, though. If someone else got to refer, but of all places, the hotel district, something seems off here. Alright. Oh, we have another friend over here now. Okay, we can stop and meet that one. 
and then we got her up here. Uh, and we got a side case right here, so let's let's focus on doing the side case is and the friend stuff. So we'll do that first, and then we'll go up to where she is. Oh, we'll go up to her first, do the side case, and then go to our new friend. A plastic bottle cap is equal to roughly two teaspoons. Oh shit! Look at this. Well, they're all in suits. Oh, can you not cut me, please? I got this. Nishikawa, come here. We're flying into your buddy. Really, guys? It feels like we're really uh, getting to the uh, meat and potatoes of the game right now. Meat and potatoes. You don't you know what would be really cool, actually, is if all the um, friends that you're making throughout the game actually has like an impact on like, the ending, and I don't want to say makes it easy, but like, how like everybody in town comes to your aid or something with what's going on, that'd be super cool. Money right out of his pocket. Let's go to a sledgehammer. You know. And stay down. Matana. Matana. Six thousand five hundred ninety guys. We're getting there. Guys, send dudes for a boss fight. Got she rubber. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't do nasty things like that. Oh, then why'd you get put your hands so close to my pecker? You were trying to get me off, weren't you, you dirty girl? Now you got my motor all wound up. Oh, I'm humming like a vacuum cleaner, baby. Time to clean the carpet. Oh, I can you. <laughs> you fiend, why can't men let massage be a massage? Oh, this doesn't look good. Hey, you need to stop right uh -huh. now. Huh? What the hell are you blubbering about? If you're looking to get yanked, then get your own, uh, wait your own goddamn time. Help me out here. What you trying to do? Well, when I offered him a massage, he kept making dirty requests, and now he won't leave me all of our own. Hey, I'm a paying customer, I and mean, what kind of sissy wants a regular massage anyway? Now, less talking, more tugging. You do know that coercion is a serious crime, right? Get lost before things get much worse for you. Try coercing my pickle. I tried, and it didn't listen. In fact, it tells me to smack you for getting in my way. Yeah? Well, my fists are telling me to shut you up first. Wait, yeah, your son? Huh? What is it? Ouch, what was that for? Whoa, what did you do to me? My muscles feel like loaves of bread rising in the oven. It's simple. Thanks to all that practice you gave me, I'm finally mastered what I call essence of acupuncture. I mean, I activated a special pressure point in your body. You should be feeling like a champion right now. Consider it my special gift to you. Now, let out all that extra energy and finish him off. Not sure how all that works, but I appreciate the help. You little punk, you think you just waltz over here and ruin my chance to get rubbed? You're dead meat. Wow, really? Oh, looks like it didn't help at all. This kid's just blocking. Got him. Oh, the 
was not a happy ending. Oh! Your ending should have come a long time ago. Next time, find someone that actually specializes in that kind of service. That's what I've been trying to do! Nah. Whoa, he's gone. Hope he doesn't cause any more misunderstandings. Can't thank you enough. What? <laughs> Not you, I'm gonna overwatch. No, don't do that. I could say the same to you. That needle worked wonders on me just now. See? Ain't you glad we just... We got through all those practice sessions? I wouldn't say I'm glad, but I guess that torment was worth it in the end. Oh, I know. Why don't I give you a massage that's half off right now from now on? Express my appreciation and such. That would be awesome, but I won't get any more near-death experiences, right? Mm. It's possible. Lock up the needles, remember? Oh. Hey now. <laughs> more Osaka Hyuma coming at you free of charge. And hey, if you ever feel tired again, you know who to call. Come on, guys. Do I do this for a boss fight? Alright. We have a new friend, and now we have a new side case. Yeah. Uh -oh. Let's work our way down there. Okay. This again. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Are you kidding me? Hey, you guys got defeated by the bark now. Hate the Kane gang. They are the worst part of this game. Guess we're doing this. Yeah, I don't like the game. Oh. game. They're fucking up. They... When the encounter rate goes up when they're in town, it really goes up. Super high. Yummy's hot. It's side case time. It's probably another Onomichio one now. When I think about it, we're probably gonna have to dress up as him or something. Do 
can bring no damage to these guys. And it's not true, because they're like, well, some of them are almost dead. But... Definitely feel like when I'm not in Tiger Sense, I take less. Never seen that one before. I see the city's sick of fixing the windows there. Side quest should just be over here. Otsuka's dead. Oh, bicycle. Okay, I brought a cobra to a bicycle fight. What a waste. Well, at least we're getting SP for it. What is this side quest, guys? I don't remember. Yep, on a mix here. We got a knife. Okay. Well, you know what? This is probably, um... Isn't that... That weird Matt Scott I saw? Is this the Gucci? Again? Wait. Oh, wait! Thief! Someone stop uh, him! Thief. The Ono Michio Bandit. It's probably Deguchi again, isn't it? How can you let this happen? Aren't you in charge of that costume maniac? Well, oh, yes, I am. Well, good it's doing. Excuse me. What's going on? Hey, have we met before? Well, I thought you said something about a thief. You did. The Ono Michio thug just robbed my convenience store. That mascot isn't some kind of crime speed? No, no. This is all a huge misunderstanding. I, to. I know what I saw. Well, yes, but what I'm trying to say is the guy inside the costume isn't the true Ono Michio. Hmm. What do you mean? The kid I hired to play Ono Michio has a boy named Nishi Murakun. But he was unhappy with the part, so he texted me that he would be quitting. Rather rudely, my dad. He said, I quit. I left your dumb costume on the side of the street. He dumped your mascot outfit on the sidewalk and left? Yes, and he didn't even write it where, so I've been searching all over for it. That's when I caught wind of Ono Michio committing a robbery, and now we're all caught up. Some opportunistic bastard saw a mascot costume on the street and decided to rob a store. Hi. That seems to be the way of it. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but why did your worker quit like that? What would cause him to be so careless? Probably because he couldn't handle the pressure that comes with being Ono Michio. How much pressure could that be? Well, the guy we had doing Onomichio before was incredible at it, and I guess Nishimura couldn't felt superior. He couldn't express the refinement, the maturity, all the things his predecessor had done, and more. But probably got to his head. Rather than try harder, he just up and quit. I see. We have no idea what could be in that costume, who could be in that costume. Oh. Right. Well, we have to consider Nishimura could have lied about throwing away the costume. It could be the perfect alibi to say he threw it away and then, got, uh, and then go rob a store with it. That rascal caught me completely off guard, I'll have you know. This is all your fault. I lost 500,000 yen in cold hard cash. Don't you think you, you should prioritize finding Ono Michio before anything worse happens? Hey, guys, about Ono Michio. I'm going to that arcade, Charles. Eh? What? Then there's no time for talk. Let's go catch him. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to. This won't end well. I should probably see what's going on. He's going into Charles, that means that Hikichi is going to beat the crap up. Uh, 
Oh no, the caution's been abandoned. The suspect came through here. It sure seems that way. Let's take a look inside. Now fess up, who just robbed me? Us. Huh, Nishi yeah. American? Aranaka son? Wow! Oh. What are you doing here? Why would you quit your job and then go loaf around in an arcade? Uh, I'm sorry. His job? Are you saying this is the guy who was in the Onomichio costume? Yes, this is him. And that means he's the thief! Wait, a thief? This is gonna be some kind of awful coincidence. Oh, sure, coincidence. Don't lie to us. It's true, though. I was pretty pissed about the umpteenth lecture, so I came here to blow off steam. You were pissed at me? I've been here all day, I swear. Besides, the guys who came in after me were way shittier. Hey, don't drag us into this mess. Yeah, I just wanted to play some games in peace, man. Are these guys the only four guys who entered the arcade? That's the case. It means one of you is the culprit. No, not it. I could never even pull off a robbery. You guys all suspect me then? That's not right. Did anyone see someone taking off the Onomichio costume by chance? I asked that same question before you came in, but no one saw anything. Listen, you bunch. I'm gonna call the cops so everybody stay put. Got it? Huh? What was that for? <laughs> Calm the fuck down, man. We don't want the cops sniffing around here. Well, you don't, do you? Well, that sounds pretty suspicious to me. Why's that? And what's what? in that bag yeah. of yours while I'm at it? Got nothing to do with you, and I don't have to show you shit. I thought I told Is that because you'd you look guilty if you did? <laughs> Shut up, I'm leaving. I'm afraid not. Move, or I'll make you move. You want me to move so bad? Show me what's in the bag. Hey, why don't we all just calm down? Can't we talk this out? Yes, yeah, someone's gonna get hurt if we're not careful. If only a great detective would burst onto the scene like in those crime dramas on TV. Oh, I'm a detective, but busting on the scene isn't exactly my style. What should I do? Uh, hey, guys, I'm actually a detective. You are? Yep. Yeah, my name's Yagami. I run a detective agency in Kamaracho. Well, convenient. Then do something about this, would you? Please, Yagami-san. Onomichio's honor is at stake here. And I honestly don't think Nishimura-kun is capable of robbery. Huh? You believe me? I don't want to believe I could hire a robber. It would bring down the whole city's reputation if I did that. You may not be the hardest working kid, but I don't think you're a robber. Hiranoka, <laughs> son. A lot at stake, huh? I'll see what I can do. Let's get one thing straight, though. I don't care if you're a detective, you can't see my stuff. That means I'm gonna have to resort to logical deductions, I guess. Uh huh. What the? Look back here. It's a one stall bathroom. I looked, but everything seemed fine. See. This is an act of obvious. I doubt it's even worth checking for prints. That's right, I don't know wears gloves after all. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Suspicious. Well, they threw the costume away here. Nobody here seems to have noticed it happened. Hey. What? Would there happen to be any cash in this patch? Oh. Well, it probably would still wouldn't, wouldn't still be there if there was. Suspicious. And the bag is empty, so they've transferred the money they stole somewhere else. Why would he switch bags though? I think I've got a good inventory of the robber's belongings mm. now. It's odd, something's missing. What is it? What's missing that a robber dressed as the only Mitchell would have in his possession? His boots? Gloves? I don't see his boots. 
You're right, his cool boots. Vital for any fisherman. But Robert gets caught in the act. An employee can throw a paintball at him to stain his shoes. The clerk did that. We can safely assume the culprit's shoes would be stained. Which means we should get a good look at these suspect's shoes. There's something else missing, too. I don't think he had a sash. I don't see any gloves. Pants. I don't should have been wearing white gloves. You're right, I don't see them anywhere. I guess they got rid of them that appear that they could trace his fingerprints from them. Any careful would leave such incriminating evidence lying around. I guess you could always burn the gloves pretty easily, too. But there's something else missing, too. Was he in white pants or jeans? I don't remember. Should be wearing white pants, but they're not here either. Now that you mentioned it, you're right. The robber was wearing white pants, too. That would mean the robber committed the deed in his own white pants. How much you say that? When Nishi Murakun went across him, he always brought his own white pants. I just brought Well, if he took them off, he'd basically be running around in his underwear, so he wouldn't have stripped. But I think it's safe to assume the robber was wearing his own white pants. Huh, I get it. That means the culprit is most likely still dressed in white pants. Everything that's missing are the white gloves, white pants, and cool boots. There's a chance the gloves were discarded, and the culprit may still be wearing the white pants and the boots. I'm not sure I believe the robber was wearing sneakers. Not Onomichio's cool boots. I guess those boots would be hard to run in. But if the anti-theft paint ball was used, then they may still be wearing the sneakers stained with the paint. I guess that would just uh, leave, have the discarded That's boots too. Alright. Hey. You're also wearing white pants. <laughs> yeah, do you think I'm trying to hard? I'm going on a group blind date after this and I wanted to look suave. Yeah, you know hard it is to make white pants work? I went with an ankle like uh, white pants to give out that really like I care look. Okay, that's one way to go about it. But then I top it off with this cashmere cardigan that says, Hey ladies, I'm the chair. So I see. I hope you do well on your date. Hmm. Tote bag, I can probably peek inside. Feel free to have a look. I'm not worried. Sure, let's see what you've got. A wallet with a few thousand yen and some candy. <laughs> See? Although I guess you could hide the real deal somewhere in the arcade. What the? You don't carry a bag. Yeah, I've got pockets for that. So the bag in the hallway isn't yours? Bag in the hallway? What do you mean? I've been looking in the hallway since this whole mess started, man. Really doesn't know about the bag, or is he playing dumb? Suspicious. Wearing sandals. Kind of uncommon in the winter, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I live pretty close by, and putting on shoes sucks. Yeah, I know that feeling. You're not wearing sneakers, and there's no anti-theft paint on them. Pretty clean so far. What the? Handles with ankle length pants. Wouldn't that be pretty cold? I don't know. What are you looking at? I was just wondering why you wear sandals in this weather, especially with pants yeah. like that. What, sandals? Oh, crap. <laughs> what is it? I just thought of something, that's all. It's nothing. Mm. I think the feeling he didn't even realize he was playing yeah, sandals. Wasn't that kind of suspicious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should probably take a closer look at those sandals. Uh huh. Heard you on. Wait, there's something written on the heel. Hmm. Hey, those sandals you're wearing, hmm? They say Charles on the heel. That's the arcade we're in. Did you win those here or something? Sure. Yeah, you figured it out. What do you mean? Well, I changed into these when I went to the bathroom, but I forgot to switch back. Um, does that mean I'm a suspect? Don't know anything for yet? Sure, yet, but... Hmm. Wait, are those boots? Yeah, but Ono Michio wears cool boots that are vital for any fisherman. Oh, so your boots aren't cool, I guess. Not wearing sneakers, and I don't see any paint. Suspicious. White pants, the same yeah. color as the robber. Huh? Well, yeah, I have to wear them to play Onomichia. So you texted your boss that you quit and then threw away the costume? Likely story. You probably kept the costume so you could rob me. That's not true. I can't rule the possibility, despite whether whatever faith Haranaka seems to have in him. What the? 
Mind if I could take a quick look in your bag? Uh, sure, but there's no money in there. There's a wallet and some plushie. You probably won in a claw machine. You hide my money, punk. I told you, I didn't do it. There has to be someone in this arcade, but where? Those aren't booths, and there's not a spot of anti theft paint on them. Probably not in. If he's the culprit, that means he changed his shoes. What the? White pants are the same color only Meteor wears. Ah! Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. That won't be enough proof. Suspicious. He really didn't want me to see what's ah! in his bag. Hey, what are you staring at? I just want to know. Why are you so intent on hiding what's in the bag? You really want to see it? Fine. You can pay the viewing fee with your life. It's that important, huh? Let it go, man. I'm not joking about killing you. Hmm. I gotta say, the lengths he's going to make sure we don't see what's in that bag are pretty suspicious. Hmm. Hey, you see anything Anything that might help? Huh? Nah, I was dozing off in the back. Useless. Gotta find the shoes the dude was wearing. Hmm. Hey. Trash can for recycling. Inside we have empty cans. Yep. But that doesn't mean we won't have other garbage. That's stained yeah. by the anti-theft paintball. These must be the sneakers the robber was wearing. He knew we'd, uh, he needed to discard the shoes, so he ditched them. Damn. Uh. Damn, he said, don't forget, only Mitchell's supposed to wear cool boots, vital for any fisherman. He can't believe the thief went and committed a crime wearing sneakers instead. Yeah, I guess he was thinking more about how to get away with it uh, than how to catch a fish. The bad news is that the shoes might be a dead end. Our culprit isn't wearing them still. Alright, well, it kind of seems like it's this guy, since... Are you done investigating yet, yep. son? Yes, I got what I needed. I have a pretty good idea who the culprit is. You do? Who is it? <laughs> what? Yeah, give me son. Don't keep us waiting. There's enough guys that actually I can make a pretty compelling case here. The body tells us more about the per person than you might think. Great, I'm starting to sound like a TV detective. Ah, I feel like a, I heard a TV detective, a detective on TV say just that. Are you going to tell us who's the robber? Where's my money? Okay, I'll accuse the person by talking to them. I think it's Canada. Okay, so I'm back to for a boss fight. Yeah. You're saying you suspect me? Is this the guy who did it? You are the culprit. Yep. Either him or the dude won't be looking in his bag. Yes, you're the only one you abandoned. Me? Where's your yep. proof? Less some evidence at the scene that clearly points to your efforts to cover it up. This is what proves you're the robber, huh? Huh. Mm. You know, I was wondering so What an ass. Don't call me out if you don't have proof. Oops. Okay, that wasn't yeah. there. Yep. Yep. Your sandals are proof that you're trying to cover something up. What do you mean? I explained why I'm wearing them. I changed when I went to the bathroom. Forgot to switch my shoes back. I shouldn't show this now. He'll, he'll just bullshit his way out of this. I need something that's a Shut little clear. Up. Come on, detective. You can't just prove me if you don't have any proof. No, I have evidence to prove how you tried to cover up the deed. The sneakers were thrown away in the trash can. They're stained with the anti-paint theft, anti-theft paintball, too. Yeah, I'm glad I thought to throw it at the thief. 
Anyone would know that you'd committed a crime with this amount of pain on your shoes. So of course, you had to ditch them. Soto. Hold on a sec, what proof do you have that I'm the one who threw them away? I'm playing dumb, there's proof on you right now. Yeah. Check this out. This is all the proof I need. Well, well, that's right. You're wearing undeniable evidence. I told you, I went to the bathroom and... The excuse isn't gonna fly. You borrowed the child's sandals because you threw away your stained sneakers, right? After all, the stain proves who the robber is. <laughs> Admit it already, you're the robber. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, if you want to prove you're innocent... Why don't you lower your the pant leg you rolled up? Uh, uh, but, but that's... I'm going to assume the hem of your pants has paint on it. If they don't, you can prove it right now. <laughs> Shit. Got him. Whoa, that's really him. You're the thief. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Why would you do something like that? It's all the costume line there, and I just couldn't help myself. My debts are due today, and I didn't have the money. So you thought you'd steal to pay them back? And you used some poor mascot to do it? I knew the costume would hide my face, and if I was lucky, the mascot would take the fall for it. Shoto. You gotta be kidding me! You almost got me arrested! Yeah, I... <laughs> uh, yeah, I I'm sorry. I didn't even consider that they'd accuse a real person in the costume. Well, <laughs> one was no easy case to crack, but I think we're done here. Well, you guys lost to the giant humanoid reaper. Ugh, I didn't want it to end like this. Just when my debts were paid, my life was finally looking up. Hmm? Wait, so you paid your debts back already? Hey. Where are you going? Well, you know, look at me. I figured I'd get out of here before the cops came. <laughs> if that's the case is solved, no need for me to stick around. Case may be over, but yes. is it really? I didn't know. No, the case isn't finished yeah. yet. What did you say, Ted? What do you mean by that, detective? Inami said, you've forgotten one very important point. I have? The whereabouts of the stolen money. Oh yeah, duh. When I searched Kanada-san's bag, it wasn't in there. Which begs the question, where did the money go? Boy. Did that? Hey, start talking. Where's my money? This brings us to Kamakura-san. Or Kumakura-san. In the bag, he refuses oh, to let us see. I wonder what's in it. No way. I told you guys, this has nothing to do with this stupid little investigation. Oh, but I'd say it does. Because I think I know what you really are. Kanada-san mentioned that he finally paid back his debts. Yeah, give me some. That's weird, isn't it? He, he came right here after robbing the store, so how could he have done that? When and how did he pay back his debts? It's simple, really. The debt collector is right here. That explains everything. Uh oh. That explains your yeah. role in this little tragedy, right, yeah. Kamakura? Kamakura-san? You're the debt collector, are you not? Yeah. Wait. Then that means. That's right. The contents of that bag. It is all yeah. the money you were paid back. But, you know, if I'm wrong, you'll have to show us what's in your bag. You piece of shit, detective. I'm gonna end you. You think so? Yeah. Come on then, from here on. I'll start proving things with my fists. Yeah. Alright, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be get found guilty. You don't give up, do you? The finisher. Damn, how is the scrawny detective so strong? You have lots of practice on cheap thugs like you. Now, let's see what's inside your bag. Not in there. What is it? I made a large lot of bills. You're the one he owed, right? Alright, today was the collection day, so I told Tom to meet me here. I brought the 500,000 as promised, but I had no idea the dumbass knocked off the store to get it. Uh, my bad. You must have realized it was stolen when this whole fiasco started, didn't you? You still tried to hide it and run. Well, yeah, who wouldn't? But I get it, I lose. I'll return the money. What's your, what you're calling, Inami-san? Oh, well, first thing I'm gonna do is call the cops. 
Have a good night. Wow, Yagami san, you really were you were really on a roll for a while there. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Great detective Yagami. Don't call me that, please. It goes it gets in my head and I start acting like one. I just hope the whole thing isn't too damaging for all of Michio's reputation. No way. We'll keep promoting him to make sure he stays refined and mature. Hey, Nishimura Or san thank you. What are you thinking me for all of a sudden? I threw away the costume and ran away from the job. But you still believe me in me the whole time. Of course I would, Nishimura kun. Huh? I hired you to be Onomichio because I could tell you were a sincere, honest kid. And I believe that one day you'd surpass even your predecessor and develop your own Onomichio soul. You're an Akasan. But nobody can put this suit on and just wing it. It takes hard work to become a city's mascot, so don't let me down. Okay. I can at least meet you halfway. Now you're getting it. I don't meet you, huh? I hope he makes everybody proud. Look at I got 120,000. We did it, team. Okay. Oh, blah. Okay. Cool. We're going to stop our recording.